Well, let's start today with an octopus. Um, I'm not talking about one from a Beatles song in a garden. This is a truly silly bit of paranoia, which shows how paranoia starts to uh, um, expand in war. And AVG can bugger off from the side of my screen there. Um, here we have an article from The Independent. BBC denies octopus mascot and university challenge was anti-Semitic attack. Blue octopus toy brought by choice at Christchurch, Oxford students sparked fierce online debate. The BBC has shut down claims on Oxford University College mascot, which appeared on a recent episode of a university challenge was a coded anti-Semitic attack. Christchurch College appeared on Monday night's episode of the popular BBC Two quiz show with a blue octopus soft toy on their desk in full view of the audience. Following the episode, a fierce online row broke out with some viewers claiming the toy was a reference to the anti-Semitic trope, alluding to an imaginary worldwide Jewish conspiracy. Other social medias claimed that the blue octopus was an international symbol of hatred towards Jewish people as it resembles Nazi propaganda. Meanwhile, some even implied that the jacket worn by one contestant bore the colours of the Palestinian flag in reference to the ongoing conflict in Gaza and Israel. There is one slight problem with that last claim. University Challenge is recorded rather far in advance, and this episode was recorded in March. So that's a little bit of a, a reach as a claim. A BBC spokesperson spoke out against the abuse that the students have received online since the programme aired and explained the toy of the contestants' choice of clothing were entirely unrelated to any of the accusations. We are aware of a number of inaccurate claims being made online in relation to last night's episode of University Challenge, and we utterly condemn the abuse that has been posted and shared. Here we see the contestants sitting... The lady with the hijab is studying astrophysics. That chap with the ginger hair, uh, poor old gingers, um, is studying Spanish. I'm not sure what the other two are studying. Um, for the avoidance of doubt, this episode was filmed in March. The mascot is one of many chosen by the team during the course of the series and one of their favourite animals. The message continued by stating that the students hoodie did not share the same red and green, white, green and black colouring as the Palestinian flag. So here we have, this is a truly peak paranoia, absolutely peak paranoia. We may as well uh, contend that the lady over to the left with the surname Dean and her black and red uh, jumper uh, with the fr nice fringe around the top is therefore wearing Nazi imagery. Or that Mr. Lau over the, to the far right is wearing a black shirt and is no doubt uh, <laughs> a modern member of a, re a resurrected black shirt movement. This is getting to be absolutely silly on both sides of the equation now when toy octopuses are provoking bizarro rows like this. It's absolutely ludicrous. The matter is far too silly for this. You, we had sort of people like Baroness Foster weighing in going, the student should be expelled with, without even investigating when the programme was filmed or recorded and just jumping to a conclusion. It's a moment of um, dark comedy among a tragic situation. And yes, I'm well aware before someone posted the octopus has been used as an anti-Semitic symbol, but I don't think the four students sitting here conspired some wicked plan to stick an octopus in front of their names on University Challenge. It's such a coded symbol that it would be hard for any for people to uncode this is truly peak silliness we're reaching here with some of this stuff. People are looking for symbols to have shouts about on both sides.